a banned battlefield, don't have the top platform and play with the game a lot. Oh, banning Pokemon Stadium, interesting. We're going to Smashville instead. Give him the good old fist bump. We're starting game one off on Smashville. Kalsat versus Luke. At You're so mad. Let's go. Immediate dash up into the middle. Gets the up throw. Off stage immediately. Off in the uh, little sharking there. Okay, Luke really cannot get on stage here. He's getting highly pressured. Already amassing 88%. Random side B out of hit stun. Good mash option. And he's down for the counts immediately before 30 seconds in. Loses the first stock, only 44%. Uh, Luke probably adjusting the uh, volume of the game just to make sure you can hear the game just fine. Precious with the bacon there. Keeps him on, on the stage. And just using the down air to bounce off the projectile. Make sure that he is safe from his wrath. Breakfast. Up smash. Board air, board air. What a link. DI mix up. Unfortunately does not finish it, but he gets the sweet spot up air. Keeps him on the stage. He goes for the cheeky side B. Gets the balloon. We got a one balloon count. Down air. Empty land does not work. Goes for the nair and ends the stock there. Luke fishing for a little bit of hammers. Unfortunately gonna be the even number after the seven hammer. Oh, double up to me. Edge guard up to me. Oh, unfortunately gets hit by the uh, B. And on the way down, gets clipped by the side, a uh, back air. Most likely trying to land with the down air, try to get back safely, but unfortunately reads it, uses his Mario superior area mobility to actually get to the side and coming up with a back air. Now I've got Luke on a good position here. Both players really throwing out these uh, attacks out of hit stun. They really want to get the upper hand, but one mess up and it's just a lot of damage. Excellent usage of the stage awareness to get on the platform with the uh -huh, air dodge. Oh, that's super unsafe. Yep. Six hammer. Wow, I can't believe that being there. How's that doing a little shimmy there? It looks like he's not doing the... Looks like he's got some little cold hands there, not being able to dash dance properly. Gets the F smash, reading the landing. Doesn't have the dull jumps, so didn't land. At 156, a random hit could end the stock. There it is. Hit confirmed from the back air, goes to the forward air. Got the odd number hammer this time, which means he has his chance at a 9 hammer. Unfortunately, the two even numbers were available, so unfortunately he does have a 1 in 5 chance as opposed to a usual 1 in 3 chance that Game Watch is trying to farm for. <laughs> Up the uh, shield, just confirmed. Blue common. Kassak got the middle stage, what's he gonna do? Yeah. Looks like he's keeping the positioning very well. Up throw, nine hammer, of course. Classic game and watch. Two even numbers so far. Even number again. Luke's luck is not well, but he does have death. Oh, still alive. Never mind. Bad DI in WAP actually not killing him, but bad DI on the back air ends his life in a matter of seconds. My assumption is we're going to be banning uh, Final Destiny, not the Final Destiny, I was about to say Fountain of Dreams, the other stage that starts with an F, and I'm surprised with the Battlefield ban. I'm guessing that Katastat really doesn't want the uh, high platform, so it looks like we're going to uh, Delphine's Secret. Immediately both players rushing to the middle again, trying to keep that center stage going. Katastat is able to maneuver around him, get the uh, stage positioning proper, keeping him off stage. Oh my. This player's all whipping. Down there safely. Oh. Now that is a very punishable move by Wario. If a side B ever hits your shield, you do have like a million years to punish. Unfortunately, with a little bit of a mess up there. Uh, accidentally SDs to his death. Alright, keep him off stage. Oh my goodness, that bite attack is so meaty. Rolled right into it with an attack. There. He lost stage, but he's still living. Mixes up with the Wops. His aerial drift is really strong enough to actually keep him out of the forward smash range. 
Tried to read his jump with the forward air, but unfortunately doesn't bite. Does get nared off the stage. Goes from Kapar for a few hammers. Looks like he's got the odd number hammer right now. Unfortunately, still the wide range of variance there for the hammer. It could be a 1, one three, 3 or 7, 9. So he's got a 1 in 4 chance. Mash up tilt out of uh, hit stun off wake up. Down tilt. Wow, Warrior is so heavy. Oh, excellent bacon juggle. And only a one hammer. Oh, try it again though. Five hammer, get that 10% extra damage. Even hammer this time. He is off stage. Did land so he gets jump back. Oh my goodness, up air to mix up the offense. Unfortunately, forward smash not needy enough to actually cover the uh, with move. To roll in, roll out, gets red by the play. Down air, up air. Doesn't get the full hop and misses the confirm. Up, oh, here comes the odd hammer. There it is. Landing lag on the side be so substantial. Gets hit by the F smash. However, at 72%, with the nine hammer, this could be a reversal, but unfortunately, with the quick down throw walk, it's quick enough to remove that stock as well. Trying to keep it, but giving up a lot of space. Crash cancel, unfortunately, doesn't connect. Oh my goodness, the footstool, the pseudo flop lock. Up there actually, uh, up there actually anti airing the down air. Luke really needs something here. Unfortunately, at 91%, it's gonna be a stray hit until one good to confirm. And as time goes on, Wario does have the loss to make sure that stock will disappear within a matter of seconds with one stray to confirm. Random side B though, almost ends Game of Watch's life. Woo, close. And unfortunately, whips the attacks. Gets with punished with the back air and ends the game there. Kaz got winning 2-0. Well done, Mikado.